Okay, so let's look at how to get uh, JetBrains Sea Lion IDE um, and uh, and the MSYS2 uh, environment uh, set up on your machines. Um, so uh, so if you're watching, if you're viewing this from USF, of course you'll have access to uh, to the web page, which will have this. Um, if you found us on the internet, uh, I'll have uh, some of these commands in the uh, in the show notes. Um, the first thing you're gonna want to do. Is uh, is you're gonna want to go to uh, to this website here, this uh, this www.jetbrains.com forward slash student, um, and basically you'll scroll down here and you'll go to the apply now. Um, what that'll do is that'll give you a student account, um, a a free uh, student account, and give you free access to all the entire suite of the JetBrains IDEs. Um, we're gonna use uh, we're gonna use Sea Lion, um, but certainly if you wanted to use any any of these other ones in uh, in other coursework, etc. Uh, you'll have access to that as well. Um, so you go through the apply now. Uh, basically, you, you just need to uh, to use your uh, your USF uh, I, um, your USF uh, edu or any .edu um, account to uh, to sign up. Okay. Uh, once you've done that um, and, and gotten through all that, you're going to go to uh, you're going to go to the Sea Lion page itself. So you could have we could have either clicked uh, here or we could have just gone directly the www.jetbrains.com slash Sea Lion and uh, go ahead and click uh, click download. Okay, and uh, then you're going to download the uh, the uh, sea lion for uh, for your particular platform. Uh, now, realistically, most of what I'm doing here is uh, is going to show stuff for the Windows. I don't know that I don't believe that MSYS uh, exists for uh, for OS X, um, and it's it's actually kind of irrelevant for uh, for Linux. Um, but anyways, so you can go ahead and download that. I've already actually done that. You'll see it. Uh, you'll see it sitting uh, right here. Okay, um, so you're going to need to download that. Uh, at the same time, you might as well go and uh, and get the MSYS2 stuff, right? So you can see the uh, URL right here, msys2.github.io, and uh, we're going to go ahead and download the 64-bit version. Okay, so you can download both of those. Again, I've downloaded those, so uh, we don't have to worry about that. All right, let me go ahead and run the installer for uh, for C Lion. Um, definitely, I'll end up uh, probably clipping a little bit. Of, of this stuff here in terms of the video uh, because uh, the, this this install is uh, is fairly uh, straightforward you can set up whatever associations you want and all of that um, adjust those things accordingly um, and as I said so I'll kind of clip through this uh, because again there's not really a whole lot for you to uh, to see here Okay, so once the installer uh, finishes doing its thing, uh, you'll basically get to uh, to this point. Um, we're not going to run Sea Lion just yet because uh, we don't have all of our tools installed, so there's no sense in uh, in running that. So I'm just going to go ahead and click finish. All right, now let's go through the uh, through the MSYS installer. This one, there are a couple of little tricky bits um, in the current version. There's a slight bug, so I am going to show you how to uh, how to kind of fix that and and so forth. Um, so this one uh, will will actually watch a little bit more. Um, so again, I'm going to run that. Um, and so the default uh, location, we're going to actually use that. So there's the C colon, um, and notice it's going to MSYS64. And um, yes, we'll go ahead and create the appropriate shortcuts. Um, and it'll take a few seconds to, uh, to kind of do its thing. Okay, so uh, in reality, for me, I think it took about uh, two minutes to do all that. Um, now we're uh, here. I am actually going to uh, to go ahead and run this, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and click finish, and uh, I'll see my little window here that uh, that shows that uh, that in fact I do have a uh, an MSYS um, an MSYS window. Now let me just go to uh, to my options here, and I'm just going to adjust my uh, make my my font a little bit bigger, uh, so that uh, so that everyone can see this. Okay, there we go. Um, and again, I can verify that all this is installed. So it did create a little uh, a little program group for us, right? There's MSYS2 64-bit. You'll see there's our various options. All right, so we're not quite done. Um, now, just a quick explanation. Um, what MSYS2 is going to give us, it's going to give us our compiler and, and various build tools. So that'll give us GCC, the compiler, and so forth. And then those tools will, in fact, be used by, uh, by C-Lion itself, the IDE. Okay, but 
to uh, to get there. So after we've uh, after we've done the install, in fact, uh, they had MSYS2 on their GitHub site has a very nice walkthrough of this of how to do the install. Um, and so you're going to come to here this this step five to uh, to do the um, updating, right? So I'm just going to select this, uh, do a copy, and um, little pro tip here to paste this in. All you need to do within the MSYS shells is hit the uh, middle mouse button. Okay, so once I've done that, it just copies whatever's in my clipboard in there, and I'll go ahead and run this. So again, this will take a couple of seconds. It'll do its thing. Um, so I can, uh, yes, I want to proceed. Notice the Y is capitalized, so I can just go ahead and hit enter because that's the default option. So there, it uh, it did its uh, it did its thing, right? Um, then it also says, okay, so if needed, uh, close the MSYS2 window. You know, it's not a bad idea to actually do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and close that, and I'm just going to come back and uh, and rerun it. So I'll come back over here, and I'll do uh, run the MSYS2 shell once again. Okay, and um, then we're going to get to step six, right? So we're just going to run uh, this little section here. And again, it says uh, yes. It's going to uh, it's going to do all of those uh, all of those various things. And uh, once again, I'm going to hit enter, and uh, kind of runs through all of its uh, all of its stuff to uh, to make this happen. Okay. Um, now you'll notice I did get uh, I did get this weird little uh, thing about uh, Segwin going on and things. Um, so you may or may not see that depending on what's installed on your system. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of just do what it says. I want to do a search for Segwin. Um, what is it? Segwin. Okay. So here it is, right here. This is the uh, this is the DLL that we want to uh, that we want to search for, and I'm just going to uh, paste that into here to uh, to search for it. Now it didn't actually seem to find it. Let me just do a quick uh, <clears throat> find uh, or or find other results. Um, right, it didn't actually see it, so uh, so hopefully we should be okay with this. Uh, but we'll see in a minute. Uh, right, so it's not uh, actually isn't finding anything. Okay, good. All right, and um, yes, wants to make sure that we close these things and so forth. Okay, so there's that. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to do a, I'm just going to run Task uh, Manager to make sure that uh, that um, Pac-Man has, in fact, shut down. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, do a Control-Alt-Delete, and um, let's just double check here. So we pull this up. We can see, notice I don't see Pac-Man listed here, so we're probably actually actually good to go. Okay, so once again, I'm just going to come back in here and uh, we're going to run our MSYS2. <clears throat> and you'll notice that uh, that you actually get uh, get this error here. Okay, now this is the bug that I was telling you about. Okay, in this particular version, um, they have a little bug where when you run the uh, that particular Pac-Man code, uh, um, you uh, it actually blows out your um, your shortcuts here okay it's not a big deal um let me show you how to fix this okay it's actually pretty easy so i'm going to come over to uh to explorer and i'm just going to uh go to that directory right so here we are here's the c colon directory here's msys 64. okay so if I look in here, um, I should see a couple of things, right? So the first thing that I that I do see in here, because of where it got with the install, um, notice we have right now this msys 2 shellcommand Okay, so that's the one I'm going to run. It'll actually pop open that familiar window. Um, and then once again, I'm just going to kind of I'm just going to go back through and uh, and run this. So again, we'll copy that and we'll paste it in just to make sure uh, it's uh, it's fairly happy with this. Notice, uh, yeah, that's fine, we can do those things. We can do that, yeah, it's grabbing uh, various other stuff. Okay, so we're good so far. Got a little bit of stuff to, uh, to take care of here. Okay, so that uh, I spared you uh, having to watch uh, it do all of uh, all of those installs, um, but that uh, that should have installed um, all of the stuff for us. So let me go ahead and uh, and close this. Okay, now if I come back over to my uh, MSYS64, and you know you might have to uh, you might have to refresh this. That's fine. Um, but some of the things that you should see in here, notice there's an MSYS2EXE, there's a MinGW64EXE, there's a MinGW32EXE. Okay, 
So that's good that we did want those. Now we can actually fix uh, those little shortcuts, okay? So all we're gonna do, we come in here. Here's our uh, MSYS264. I'm gonna go first to the uh, MSYS2 shell and I'm gonna right click on that and go to properties. Okay, so you'll see all this uh, all this kind of stuff in here. Uh, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to change a couple of things. So right here where it says notice C colon uh, backslash MSYS, right? So I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to delete all the stuff in front of that, like so. Um, and then I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to change this so that it matches up with what I have here, the msys uh, 2exe So notice I'll just delete out this last little part, uh, leave in that, and set it to msys 2 exe So when I click OK, uh, again, if we come back over here, yeah, there it is. Okay, now let's uh, fix the other ones similarly. So I'm going to come in for the uh, for that one um, again. Same kind of idea here. So right right before the C colon backslash, and we'll delete all those out. And again, we're going to change this to this one to mingw64.exe. So just get rid of that underscore shell bat dot exe. Okay. And one more. Come to here. Again, delete all that stuff out. Get rid of the underscore shell dot bat. And we're going to change that to mingw32 exe. Okay. So now we have uh, those things fixed. Um, the, the developers of, of MSYS are aware of this. They're still trying to figure out how exactly they're gonna fix this in the installer. Anyways, now that we have that fixed, now what we can do, we're gonna run M, our MSYS2 shell one more time. I'm gonna come back over here, and now we need to run this command here. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna copy that come back over here, middle mouse button to paste that in, and we hit enter, and um, in my case, nothing to do, so uh, that basically is good to go. Okay, so we're gonna close that. All right, so we have uh, the basic MSYS2 system installed. Okay, now what we need to do is on top of that, we need to install the uh, the particular packages for, uh, for compiling and debugging C++ code. Okay, so that's where this little archaic command here comes in. All right, so what I'm gonna do, um, in fact, let me kind of make this a little bit bigger. Um, and again, as I said, if you're watching this on the internet, uh, on YouTube, I should, I'll have this, uh, this command in the, uh, in the notes. Okay, now, we're gonna go back to, uh, to MSYS 264 bit, but very importantly, Okay, we're not going to run the MSYS2 shell. We're going to run this one here. Okay, the MinGW W64 Win64 shell. That's the one that we want. All right, so I run that. Comes up. That's good. All right, then I'm going to grab this whole command here. And again, I'm going to copy that. And then we're just going to middle mouse button to paste it in. And uh, we'll hit enter. Okay, yes, we do want to install all that. So we'll do another enter. And uh, it'll uh, it'll chug away for a couple of for a little bit. Okay, and uh, once it finishes all of its stuff, um, then we should have uh, we should have our C++ compiler installed. Let's check it out, right? So I should be able now to say um, should be able to type G++. That's the name of our compiler, and then dash dash, and version, and uh, there we are, right? I see that uh, there's the particular version, so it is in fact installed, and that's great. Okay, now I can close this window. Okay, okay so now that we have all of our tool chain installed, we can go and let's run JetBrains. Come down here, and uh, there's JetBrains Sea Lion. And uh, yeah, I don't want to import anything. All right. And now, um, in terms of the license activation, okay, so if you signed up for your, uh, for your free student account over here, uh, like I suggested you do, this is where you're actually going to enter in those credentials, right? So I'll just put in, I'll enter in mine. Okay. 
and uh, click activate then it'll contact uh, to verify that uh, yes i do have a uh, do have the options all right great now uh, let me just uh, adjust some things here so that uh, you can see this a little better hide my uh, taskbar there we go that's better all right, so uh, you can pick your uh, your user interface theme. You can uh, you can always do it later too. Um, you know, if you really like the uh, the sort of dark background that's kind of very popular these days, you can do that. Um, either one. Uh, the main important the important part is the uh, tool chains here. Okay, uh, so you notice it can't uh, can't find what it needs. Okay, so we're using MinGW Home. So I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to uh, click the little dot 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 here to pull up a file dialog. All right, so there's our file dialog. Um, we're going to go up to C colon. There it is, C colon. And we're going to go to MSYS64. And we're going to go to MinGW64. And we'll just click Open. All right, so it puts that in. Then it'll kind of chug away to, uh, to check to see that it has uh, all the other stuff. Um, it should come up just like that. And that means you're good to go. Okay, at that point, you can just close this window. Okay, so you have your tool chain um, set. All right, now C-Lion will, uh, will start up. Notice it tells me uh, who it's licensed to and so forth. Um, and the student, uh, the student license is basically active for, uh, for one year. Um, after that, if you're still a student, you can, you can renew it and so forth. Okay, let's create a, uh, a, our first C++ project just to see, uh, just to make sure that everything's working, right? So I'm going to go to New Project, and I'll give it a name. Okay. We'll just call it hello. All right, and we can see where it's going. Um, we'll go ahead and click the uh, the OK button, and it should uh, it should make that for us. Okay, so it's creating the uh, the project. First time it kind of creates the project does take a take a little bit. You'll see these we got these processes running, etc. Um, so we're going to let it do its thing. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, put this uh, back here. All right, so mine's most of the way done. I'm gonna see if I can uh, kind of get away with uh, with uh, running it uh, without uh, without waiting for the whole. Oh, it's almost done, anyways. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna go down here and I'm gonna select uh, my project, namely Hello, and I'll click the uh, the Run button, and we should see uh, that it in fact. Uh, so notice it's building, and uh, yep, it built the target, and right there is our output, Hello World. Okay, so everything is running, it's working, and uh, now we're ready to go.